planning and replanning brought about by the rescheduling of the opening of classes for school year 2020-2021 and the situation at hand. Hence, gave us ample time to reconsider some modifications in our school learning continuity plan. The different learning modalities chosen were data-driven, specifically from the learner's enrollment and survey form. The learning delivery modality decision tree presents four kinds of learning deliveries, namely school-based face-to-face learning, blended learning, homeschooling, and distance learning. As you can see, our decision tree shows that of 1,200 enrolled learners, all their parents did not allow to have face-to-face -face classes in school, thus resulting to distance learning. This slide shows that of 1,200 enrolled learners, there are 200 learners have access to internet and print material. These are the learners who will be under the online distance learning with print material. One of the two distance learning modalities mapped out by the school is the online distance learning. The 200 learners who are qualified to be awarded subscriptions to Creeper are those who have gadgets and internet access, derived from our LESP and the decision tree, and top-performing learners who will use the tablet computers from RTCP. We're keenly aware that the safest distance learning modality is through online, where synchronous and asynchronous mode must be interchangeably available to these learners. In case that a certain Creeper account shall become dormant due to circumstances beyond the control of the parent and learner, the Creeper company shall not forfeit the account, but instead should provide us the reassignment of the account to another learner within the school year or within the duration of the contract. We're done with our online distance learning. Our second distance learning is Modular Distance Learning Print. The LASIP National High School has modified the home learning plan that is more efficient, cost-effective, and feasible without compromising the quality of education. As you can see in our decision tree, we have 1,200 enrolled learners, and 200 of them chose online distance learning with print material. And the other 1,000 learners chose the modular distance learning with print material. This is how we will carry out our printed modules. DMCI 2020-00162 suggested a weekly home learning plan with two learning areas, given two hours contact time per day and with eight subjects per week and that's equivalent to 8 hours contact time per subject per month. When converted to a monthly home learning plan, each learning area will receive 8 hours per week that is equivalent to 8 hours per month. The learners will focus their attention to 2 subjects per week rather than to 8 different subjects per week. Our learners should accomplish 2 modules in a week containing a four-week lessons or what we call monthly home learning plan as compared to the eight modules in a regular weekly home learning plan. Then, our learners will be given one week to accomplish modules with two subjects only. And after four weeks, the learners will be able to accomplish all modules in eight learning areas. The chart shows the pairing of the learning areas within a month and the modules will be shuffled after each week. For purpose of presentation, we combined learning areas with 4 hours contact time per week with subject that is less than 4 hours contact time per week. Example, mathematics is being taught for 4 days with 4 hours a week in a regular class situation. And Aralim Palipunan is being taught for 3 days per week or 3 hours per week. After planning the clustering of subjects, we go to the class clustering. Classes will be divided into 4 clusters. This chart will visually explain the mechanics of dividing classes into 4 clusters, cluster A, B, C, and D. 
Each cluster will receive two sets of learning modules which are MELX-based, containing a four-week or a month of lessons for two subjects corresponding to the week each cluster is assigned to learn that particular week. And these modules will be retrieved gradually starting Friday until Monday of the following week. This is the schedule of a distance learning delivery modality that we have from grades 7 to 10. All clusters will be receiving two learning modules per week. Let's have an example. Cluster A on the first week will receive mathematics and araling palipunan. And there will be reshuffling of the learning modules. Cluster B on the second week will now work on mathematics and araling panlipunan. And on the third week, Cluster C will receive mathematics and araling panlipunan to learn those things. And finally, on the fourth week, it's the turn of the Cluster D to answer mathematics and araling panlipunan. Dividing the class into four clusters is beneficial. Number one, all teachers are advisors with an average of 1 is to 25 teacher-learner ratio and will serve as administrators and monitors of all learning activities. Another, subject teachers stay as subject teachers and will handle all concerns of his or her learning area or areas. And teachers' instruction, monitoring, and supervision will be done through text messaging, group chats, and other online platforms. Advantages of the modified MDL print, we can save 75% on printing cost. Sample computation. DMCI-2020-00162, the MDL print. An average of 10 pages per learning module per week times 4 weeks in a month is equivalent to a 40-page module monthly home learning plan. Cost of printing, 1 peso per page. For example, we have a 40-page MMHLP times 8 learning areas times 1,200 learners and that's equivalent to 384,000 pesos per month times 10 academic months that's equivalent to 3,840,000 pesos. But if we'll have a modified MDL print as what we are presenting to you, for example, we have 40 MMHLP times 8 learning areas times 300 learners, and that's one-fourth of the 1,200 learners. That's equivalent to 96,000 pesos per month times 10 academic months and that's equivalent to 960,000 pesos only. These are the advantages of the modified MDL print to our learners. The learners will concentrate on two subjects per week at a time, providing them ample time to handle or even meditate on the learning tasks given. The learners' modules with the availability of these learning materials Instructions and communication will be easier and we can guarantee that one is to one ratio of learners modules and the provision of available learners modules issued by the Department of Education. And based on the chart, prepared subjects based on the prescribed academic hours or meeting time. Advantages of the modified MDL print to teachers. Teachers will have ample time to assess and evaluate the learner's progress and needs after a week's accomplishment of the modules while waiting for the next batch to come in for the provision that total class or teacher's loads are divided into four clusters and immediate intervention or enrichment strategies for learners who have shown either mastery of the learning competencies, significant progress or insignificant progress can easily be identified and addressed by the teachers. Advantages to parents and learning facilitators. 
assurance of parents and guardians' capabilities to assist the learning needs of their children with the two subjects per week. And easier instruction will be given to parents using a monthly home learning plan with two subjects per week. Advantages in management. It is realistic and doable. It is manageable in the sense that we will print only one-fourth of the modules and that is 300 modules for 300 learners times 8 learning areas that is equivalent to 2,400 modules per month rather than 38,400 modules per month to be given to 1,200 modules. And that is cost efficient. By minimizing the cost of printing, the management can allocate at least 10% budget for the additional reprinting for damaged or unretrieved modules to avoid delay in accomplishing learning tasks. And with that 75% reduction of the printing of learning modules, other environmental issues like massive cutting of trees for the production of paper will be addressed. And eventually, the stakeholders will gradually embrace the environment-friendly modality, which is the ODL. Health and Safety Protocols Distribution, Monitoring, and Retrieval of Learning Modules There are 32 prepared classrooms to strictly observe health and safety protocols for distribution and retrieval of learning modules. Each learner will receive learning materials that are packed in a plastic expandable case or envelope that are washable and there is a provision of isolation and sanitation room using UV-C technology for the retrieved modules every week to be safe and ready for the shuffling. Here are the benefits of UV-C technology. It defeats microorganisms. Proven effective against viruses, bacteria, molds, and spores. It protects against microorganism growth. Keeps the surface of water reservoirs clean from biofilm. And it keeps air treatment systems clean. It is reliable disinfection. Disinfection effect is directly related to UV dose, intensity, and exposure time of microorganisms. It's simple to measure effectiveness once system design is validated. And finally, it is easy and cost-effective. The UV-C installations have low capital and operation costs and are easy to operate and maintain. There are also posted schedules, directories for parents inside the school campus, and these are lists of learners, sections, advisors, clusters, and rooms. Disinfection of premises and learning materials shall be done on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And finally, a set of buffer, which is 10% of learning materials, shall be used only in case of delayed retrieval or non-retrieval of the learning materials. In conclusion, the LASIP National High School's teaching and non-teaching personnel crafted and will adapt a realistic and doable learning platforms and system that will focus on the essential aspects of teaching and learning support and build a strong bond between and among learners, parents, and other educational stakeholders and will ensure that no learner is left behind. Thank you and good day.